I don't think I have told, said this in any previous video, but I work as a teacher. I am a teacher. I teach religion, geography. Well, <laughs> whoop de doo <laughs> No one is surprised that the one, the mood truck rider go with the churches and like your geological sites and mines and stuff is teaching geography and religion. I also teach civics and uh, well, it's it's a course in Sweden called Society Knowledge. So it's not just civics, it's a little bit civics, sociolog so sociolog sociology and uh, economics. Like a mixture, you need this to, <laughs> to function in society, kind of thing. But most, it's mostly civics. That's how you pass. Great field of view so you know when there's are there are cars coming or not. Not like this jackass. And this road isn't that interesting. I mean, it's beautiful if you haven't been riding on the road, on this road before, but I have been riding a lot of, on this road this summer. Often when I'm going on a motorcycle ride and I don't know which way to go, I usually go up this road and then just take a gravel road somewhere. You almost always find something interesting. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take some detour now. I'm heading home because I am meeting up with a friend and we're going on uh, I don't really know where we're going, but we're doing something. Maybe I'll bring the camera, but that video would definitely be in Swedish. I'm gonna take some lessons at a firing range and uh, practice precision shooting and maybe I can film that, I'm not sure. I'm not gonna bring the camera first time I'm there, but maybe the second time and ask nicely if it's okay if I do some filming of me shooting. Maybe there's some kind of law I don't... because to be able to go to a shooting range in Sweden you have to like send in some papers from, uh, from the police that declares that with your personal, like your ID and stuff and declares that I am not a convicted uh, criminal or something if I have been doing like, if I'm convicted for like crimes with 
violence, like I have been assaulting someone or stealing or uh, like hitting someone at like uh, on like on a night out or something. If I have been convicted of anything like that, I can't be on the shooting range. So there might be some rules. We so Sweden are super restrictive when it comes to like guns and gun ownership compared to some countries mostly compared to to like America because it feels like you're always comparing gun laws to America and uh, but if you want to have like a handgun you, like a 9mm handgun you need to be active in a shooting club you need to uh, prove that you can shoot you need to prove that you have all the, you know all the safety all the regulations then if you have the, a light you have to have, you need to have a license first then if I have understand it correctly you need to send in like a like a form to the police I, like I want this kind of gun let's just say I want the Glock then I send in what kind of lock I want to the police and then they can approve that I can have that kind of gun. Then I can buy the gun. So I need the license, the, the, I need the license, to have the license, I need papers from the shooting range club and showing the police that I am not a convicted criminal or anything like that. I need to be active for a certain period of time in the club. And then the police, I send in a, a form to the police which kind of gun I want and then they approve of that gun only. That means I can only buy that kind of gun. And the, the, I think the seller, the one who sells the gun, like the, the company that sells the gun, they are registered with the police first, then I will be able to get the gun from the police. Yeah, even though, if even if I get my, I would like, if I like shooting, this is a, like a beginner's course and if I like it I will continue and if I get my weapons license I'm not sure I'm gonna get the weapon you can have the license but that doesn't mean you have to get the weapon it would be fun to like hey I can have I can shoot like a 9mm handgun in Sweden I can own a 9mm handgun but I don't own a 9mm handgun because I wanna own it legit I don't want an Ill illegal weapon I want a legit weapon, if I'm gonna get the weapon at all, which I don't think I will. I just want, I just like the idea of uh, uh, going to a shooting range. I mean, I have done it like abroad, like in Poland, in countries where it's much easier, with, with much more liberal law, gun laws. This is a special road because this is the road every motorcyclist rides and the people who live here wants to forbid motorcycles from riding here which is one of the reasons that every motorcyclist is here rides this road all the time like to annoy them and uh, because it's a nice motorcycle road but people often ride like jackasses here, like too fast, like... I'm not going to be a hypocrite, I do it too. And... Um, it's fun, it's fun riding. Especially curvy roads like this. Maybe I'm not gonna use this audio here, unless I have something interesting to say. I'm gonna enjoy the riding.
Yeah, yeah, yeah.